Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenerz with the third part of my CDH Masterclass mini-series. Today I'm going to address an issue that a lot of high-level competitive players have and that I've been struggling with myself. Stress and performance anxiety. If you ever played against me in a tournament or seen me in a CH tournament setting, you know that I get super anxious and I'm basically a nervous wreck from start to finish. It gets so bad that I have to go to the bathroom like 20 times, get lightheaded and extremely nauseous. This has been somewhat of a problem I've had ever since I started competing in sports as a child, but as a CDH player I noticed that it got much worse and in order to fix this I tried to a understand what's different from now to back when I used to compete in sports, b reach out to other competitive players to get some outside perspective as well as their experience with performance anxiety, and c source some useful techniques that I can try in order to deal with my stress levels and combat my performance anxiety in the future. So first things first. As I mentioned before, competitions aren't anything new for me. I competed in swimming, taekwondo, type 2 magic tournaments and powerlifting. And although I used to get stressed by these events, especially swimming and taekwondo, I was still able to function well and not have the stress affect me physiologically. With CDH tournaments however, my anxiety reached a whole different level and I reflected on what the difference was between CDH, swimming and taekwondo as compared to powerlifting and my early type 2 magic tournaments. After thinking about it for a while, I came to the conclusion that the main difference is my self-imposed need to fulfill other people's expectations. It sounds kind of profound, but it's pretty clear for me now that as a child, swimming competitively was something my trainers and parents wanted me to do because I was pretty good at it. I would constantly stress myself about at the very least making the podium or performing well enough to be invited to larger events because that's what my parents and trainers were expecting me to do. The same is true for Taekwondo. My trainer was very reputable and his students would regularly win tournaments. My fear of not fulfilling his expectations led to me constantly questioning my skills, although I had no reason to. Looking back at it now, I realized that I was in fact trained by one of the best trainers in Germany, so I should have the necessary skills to perform well. But back then I was in constant doubt. It got so bad actually that on the day of my black belt exam, my trainer told me to better not fail because none of his students had ever failed before. At the exam I felt like everyone was staring at me because of who my trainer was and how reputable he was. So minutes before the exam started I went to the bathroom and puked my guts out because I couldn't handle the anxiety anymore. Well, I never told anyone about this because at the end of the day I still aced the exam, but in retrospect it was a very defining moment for me and very illustrative of what triggers my performance anxiety. With my early type 2 magic tournaments and powerlifting I had a way different experience. Of course I would be a little stressed and somewhat anxious, but never to a degree that made me feel physically sick. And that's probably because there was never someone, except for myself, that put any kind of pressure on me or projected any kind of expectations on me. On the contrary, my few powerlifting tournaments were all very fun and enjoyable because it would always mostly feel like just a group of friends meeting up to lift some heavy weights. The whole prize ceremony and judging simply became the background noise of a fun day with friends. I'd never care that much about my placing, but more so about pushing myself, reaching a better personal lifting total than before, and most importantly, supporting my friends. I also noticed though, that the small events definitely helped me to get into that relaxed mindset, because at large events I would see so many other competitors stressing out and being completely in that competitive zone, which to a degree made me feel anxious too. So why is it that I get this stressed out at CDH tournaments when CDH is just a hobby? Well, I personally came to the conclusion that it is probably due to my endeavors as a content creator, Discord smartass and of course CDH coach. Not that other people actively put pressure on me, but because of what I do in the small competitive community, I subconsciously develop this need to prove my skills so that I can kind of back the advice I give on my channel on Discord and during my coaching sessions with actual tournament results. I feel like that if I underperform, my advice and opinions will lose validity. Add to this the fact that as one of the very few European CDH content creators, I get recognized at tournaments a lot. And as much as I enjoy being recognized and talking to everyone, it definitely doesn't help with my performance anxiety. For example, just recently someone I played against in a tournament wrote a tournament recap and mentioned me by name a few times and I obviously felt very flattered, but it also made me think that people are kind of expecting me to play at a certain level and if I can't fulfill those expectations, I'd kind of feel like my work in the community became less valid. So in conclusion, I'm probably this stressed and anxious at tournaments because I'm expecting too much of myself, because I think people are expecting me to play at a very high level, because I'm a smartass on the internet that gives advice to other players. And after realizing this, I thought to myself, I can't be alone with this though, right? 
there are dozens of other CDH smartasses on the internet, they must be anxious too, right? Well, yes, they are. I asked competitive players on multiple Discord servers about their experience with performance anxiety and I got a ton of messages. Apparently it's a pretty widespread problem, especially at the higher levels of competitive play, but it's not being talked about in the community at all. So let's look at a few tips I got from other CDH players, but also from articles I read about performance anxiety in academia, sports and other competitive events. Before you consider any of these tips, make sure to try to understand where your anxiety and stress stems from. By first understanding the reason, you can then more effectively find ways to deal with it. Next, let's address the physiological aspects you can change to reduce your stress and anxiety at a tournament. Sleep well before the tournament. Lack of sleep can increase stress levels and negatively impact your resilience. Don't eat too much or too little. Being hungry or too full can increase nausea or lead to lightheadedness. Also drink enough water because tournaments are mentally and physically draining. Avoid increased use of stimulants such as caffeine, sugar or nicotine because they can cause nausea and while they might help with the early games, you will eventually crash later on and become even more stressed because of that. Get as much fresh air as possible. Sitting in a cramped space all day with a bunch of sweaty dudes trying to play their best game isn't helpful for your focus and energy levels. Take long deep breaths of fresh air whenever possible in order to decrease your heart rate and blood pressure. Now let's look at the things you can do before the actual tournament in order to head in with a more relaxed mindset. Prepare well, but don't overdo it. If you aren't a professional player, there's no need to make the tournament prep your main focus for weeks ahead. Family, friends and everything else still matters. If you neglect these things in your prep, you will feel more stressed to perform at an unrealistically high level. Set realistic expectations. Expecting to win all the games is unrealistic for most players. Instead, try to set expectations in a manner that's more in your own hand, like not making major misplays, sticking to a game plan, or improving on something you did wrong in the last tournament. Broaden your experience. A tournament is more than just a bunch of tryhards looking to see who's the best that day. It's a social event and a chance to meet up with friends, connect with players from other cities, have fun and go out to eat. If your goal is to have fun, that can be the case independent of your performance in the games. Next, let's look at the things you can do during your tournament games or in between games. First and foremost, stick to what has proven in your pickup games and prep games. Changing up your deck list or making new decisions because you are in a tournament setting will lead to situations you are not familiar or comfortable with. This will stress you more lead to mistakes and eventually losses, which will further increase your anxiety. The important work, the prep, is already behind you. The tournament itself is just a snapshot and not a detailed picture of your skill as a player. Focus on the variables within your control, not those outside of your control. Preparation, your own game plan, decisions, those are things you have an impact on. But matchups and other players' decisions or mistakes or your bad luck with mulligans is something you can't affect, so don't worry about it. Don't focus on the final result or your tournament standing in between rounds or during a game. Focus on what's ahead of you, the current game or your next turn. Talk to your friends in between rounds and try not to focus on what went wrong, but what you did well. Stressing over mistakes during the tournament is not helpful at all. This is not the time or place to analyze a mistake. Just save that for after the tournament and instead hype each other up for the things you did well. Finally, there are a few things that will develop over time. Play more tournaments. The more routine you have, the less of a special experience a single tournament will be. It will just be another tournament, one of many. And one of many won't have a significant impact on your overall performance as a player, no matter if it goes really, really well or really, really bad. And get comfortable with losing and getting steamrolled. Once you've had a really, really bad tournament, you will realize that there is more to come after that. You can focus on the next one, improve on what you did wrong and go from there. And yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something today and even if these tips don't prove to help you personally, just know that you aren't the only one with performance anxiety in this community. Just try to find a method that helps you deal with it so that you can keep enjoying this game while also performing at a high level. Thanks for watching my videos. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment about your experiences and tips down below. This is Eisenerz and Auf Wiedersehen.